It is Pride Weekend here in Atlanta, and CBS 46 is your source for everything Pride related. We're going to air the parade Sunday on our sister station, Peachtree TV, but there are a number of events leading up to Sunday. That's right, and we're going to be there to see you, so hopefully you'll come out or watch us. Our Daniel Wilkerson, live right now at Piedmont Park, to give you an idea of what you need to know. Mm -hmm. And Daniel, you're right on the route, you're on the Pride board, and you actually spent some time with the mayor last night who kicked off everything in a big party in Buckhead. I tell you, we had way too much fun. I stayed up way too late last night, but yeah, a whole lot of fun. Uh, the mayor, as, uh, uh, Ken, uh, as um, Karen just said, had her event last night. Here's the program for that event. A lot of it was devoted to help for trans people as well as awareness for trans issues. Let's show you Piedmont Park this morning. Not many people out except for the joggers, but you can see there uh, they have the tents already set up for some big musical events as well as that festival that will take place tomorrow. Let's take you to the event, the mayor's event that we spoke of. It happened in Buckhead last night. It all kicked off with the Atlanta Gay Man's Chorus taking to the stage. Of course, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms coming into office, put in place the LGBTQ Advisory Board. It's made up of 34 people at the forefront of LGBTQ issues. So last night was the mayor's kickoff to Pride. Tonight, the Atlanta Pride Committee will hold its official Pride kickoff at the aquarium. It's the 10th year for that event and it is already sold out. Attendees will get to tour the aquarium, enjoy music, and then Saturday here in Piedmont Park starting at 2 p.m. several musical acts will take to the stage. Kesha will be the headliner. That's a huge headliner this year for Atlanta Pride. Organizers are expecting approximately 350,000 people to attend this weekend's events. And so you, as you would imagine, Atlanta police will be highly visible for the parade Sunday. Last year, the parade saw just over 200 floats. This year, that number grows to more than 300. Atlanta police had this to say. We're actually gonna have a command center close and by and on scene. And then we're gonna have one inside the park as like an operational center. Yeah, APD also says that they are monitoring any online threats against the event back out here live. Just a note to you uh, as up until now, the parade has ended right here at Charles Allen, right here at Piedmont Park. But this year, if you're familiar with the area, the parade will end up near Jason's Deli near Blake's on the park. So a lot of fun to be had this weekend. We hope to see you out here. We're live in Piedmont Park this morning. Daniel Wilkerson, CBS 46 News.